The eyes have it! Don't look now! Oh, did you see that? Just shut up and follow me! Man, we made it. That was close. Close? Close! It was... I didn't... I didn't... I'll tell you, man. I can't stand it! I can't stand it! Hey, relax, Pinhead. We're gonna be safe in here. Really? Yeah, see, it stopped. Now just say calm and relaxed like me and everything's gonna be okay. Calm and relaxed. Like me. Like you. Thanks, Polky. I feel a whole lot better now. Take over! Calm, relax. Calm, relax. <laughs> Polky, this stuff really works. <laughs> You know, Bulky, you really should try that calm and relaxed stuff. Try it with me. Calm, relax. Calm, relax. Get off of me! Man, we gotta get back to our post before Lieutenant Stone figures out we're gone. Yeah, he's gonna be really ticked off when he finds out. Some bright idea. Let's cut through the park, Skull says. Oh, yeah? Well, Bug says let's stop and get hot dogs! Well, look, man, it wasn't my idea to stop and feed the ducks! Yeah? Well, well ducks have to eat, too! Look, this is getting us nowhere. I'm gonna go out and see if the coast is clear. Maybe we can get back before Lieutenant Stone notices anything. You mean you're gonna leave me in here all by myself? <sighs> Look, just get our stuff together. I'll be back in a minute. Clear. Let's get out of here, but be careful. Too much noise and the rocks at the entrance are gonna come crashing down. Come on. Right! Shh. bye-bye. Oh, it's a pity that a great leader like myself is never going to get a chance to fulfill his destiny. Oh, Bulk. We've been in tougher spots than this, and we've always managed to come out on top. We're a team. As long as we stick together, we'll be okay. Where'd you get that speech? From a comic book or one of those cheesy kid TV shows you watch? Cheesy kid TV show. How'd you like it? <laughs> the good one. Made me feel better. <laughs> Hey, Paul, can you remember the first time we faced danger together? You mean the time we tried to make ice cream and set your dad's mustache on fire? <laughs> I almost forgot about that one. No, I mean the time that big gold guy showed up in front of the juice bar, and we had to make a run for it in the bus. Yeah, as I recall, it was my bravery and quick reflexes which got us out of that one. No, no, I think it was the Power Rangers. In, in fact, I'm pretty sure it was the Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I remember as if it were yesterday. Okay, it's over here. Oh. Sender bus is the fastest way out of here. Right, out of here. Watch where you're going. Who taught you how to drive? Nobody. How am I doing? You drive like a maniac. Thank you. That was not a compliment, Dimwit. Oh. Say both. Where are we going anyway? As far away as possible. That monster's right on our tail. Oh, oh, right. Yeah! <laughs> Take them to the 
what took you so long. Wait a minute, where's the bus? I'll help you. It's over there. What are we gonna do now? Uh, let's get out of here. Great idea. <laughs> should be the bait. Yeah. Glad you see it my way. Hot to it, princess! need a break. We don't take a break until I say we take a break. <sighs> okay, it's time for a break. Let me get this helmet off. Uh, Skull? <laughs> Give me a hand here, will you? <laughs> it's not funny, it's stuck. Now get up here and help me get it off. All right, all right, I'm coming. Yeah. subs with everything on it. Yeah, we've had some pretty good meals over at Ernie's. Hey, remember the International Food Festival? Yeah, that day we had tamales, chili, Chinese food, hot dogs, pizza. This is really looking good. Hi, Ernie. Hi, girls. This is just what I like to see. A bunch of goody goods about to get creamed. By pies, that is. <laughs> What are you waiting for, Dolt? We are not going to eat them, numb skull. We are going to throw them. Spread out. Yeah. 
Yeah, let me see here. Sesame chicken salad? How about chow mein? Hey, I bet you I can hit the principal over there. <laughs> Bulky, I've been thinking. <sighs> Careful, you're not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very funny. No, I was thinking that maybe we should try calling for help. Once again, you've proven me right. Skull, no one is gonna hear us from in here. Hey, wait a minute, I have an idea. Start digging. <laughs> 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 You know, Bulky, this has got to be one of the weirdest situations we've ever been in. <laughs> yeah, come to think of it, weird things do seem to happen to us. Yeah, like the time we tried to make our own shampoo and all our hair fell out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or how about the time we tried to use one of Billy's inventions to improve our intelligence? That would have worked if you wouldn't have blown it. Hey, you're the one that threw the switch. I saw how he did it. It's a piece of cake. Come on, get in there. Well, what do you want me to do? When I flip the switch, think of something, and I'm gonna try and read your mind. Hey, Bulk! Can I think of Kimberly? Don't tell me, you dimwit! I'm gonna try and read your mind. Think! Think. was pretty weird being you. The breathing on my food. We gotta do something. We gotta find that Philly geek. Oh, right after they beat my spaghetti meatballs. Yeah, spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> playing with my machine? All right, step on up.
Suppose I can borrow your brain for my math test on Monday. Remember when we tried to make a monster? Skull, will you hurry up and get the book for your mom's birthday? This place is crawling with the two things that I hate most, books and dweebs. Whoa! Hey, how about how to cook a Thanksgiving feast? Oh, it's perfect for your mom. I've tasted her cooking. Hey, Skull, take a look at this. Monster making made easy. Huh? Would you believe it? <laughs> no. I'm gonna be dumb enough to buy a book like that. We would. I don't get it. We build our own monster, Dolt. Then we let it loose on Angel Grove, and when the Power Rangers show up, we unmask him. The rest is history. You are a genius. Let's go. We have work to do. Let's go. <laughs> that way. Pass me the nine volt batteries. Hey, Buck. It says here that we're supposed to put the stuffing in the turkey. You're useless. Where are the nine volt batteries? Then you bring them? Why do I trust you to do anything? Listen, keep following these directions. I'm going to the store to get some batteries. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. <laughs> no problem. All right, Skull. Just follow the directions in the book. The book! How's it going? if I don't find that book. Ah! <laughs> now then, wrap the legs in tinfoil. This will prevent burning. It's almost ready to bring to life, Skull. You followed all the directions, didn't you? Yeah. I got it all right. Here. Go! This is your mother's Thanksgiving cookbook. Tell me you didn't use this. You didn't use this. I didn't think so. Nobody would be that big of a numbskull. Now, once we make these final few connections, our monster will live and the Power Rangers will be ours! It up. Come on, baby. Come to Papa. No! Crank it up another notch, Skull. Have you considered what we're doing here, man? Of course I have. Now hit it. You can do it. I know you can. Live, my glorious creation. Live. Okay. We did it, Skull. We've created uh, our own perfect turkey. Hey, Bulk, you know what this reminds me of? I don't know what. Come on, guess. I don't want to guess. Come on, Bulky, guess. <laughs> I don't want to guess. Come on, Bulky, you gotta guess. Okay, I'll guess. Uh, this reminds me of your old Aunt Frida's house. Bulky, you're a lame guesser. Would you knock it off already? Detention! It reminds you of detention. Detention. <gasps> Now 
Now, you all know why you're here. Now, you're to remain in your seats for the duration of the day. I have a meeting to attend. Hey, Mr. Kaplan, go to your meeting. I know the routine. I'll fill them in on the rest. All right, but I'll be back to check on you shortly. I thought he'd never leave. Hey, you, get out of my chair. Do I see your name written on it? Yeah, right there. C-B-U-U-L-K. So, we still on for tonight? Uh, get real, Eel. I wonder what Mom made me for detention today. favorite cartoon. Nowhere. Can I give up now? No, Skull. Don't give up. Keep digging, man. Never give up. Heroes never give up. Heroes? Let's face it, Bulky. We're not heroes. We're just a couple of ordinary guys living ordinary lives in a cave, trapped for the rest of eternity. Stop trying to make us something that we're not, man. Look, Skull, when have I ever tried to make us something we're not, huh? When? With iron chests and arms of steel, we've got real superhero appeal. We'll protect this city with all our might. Bumpster and Super Skull will set things right. Come on, let's go show up those Power Rangers. Yeah. Testing. 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 Hello, good citizens of Angel Grove. And welcome to this city's most historic moment. A moment when two of the most dynamic, powerful, incredible superheroes ever to walk the earth decided to move to this fair city and protect its people. Of course, I'm talking about myself and my sidekick. I'm the Incredible Bookster! And I'm Super Skull! Boy, wonderful. Show us some of your superpowers! Yeah! Yeah! That's 
Listen, Ding Dong. I need an excellent costume to win that contest. And you're gonna find me one. You got it, bulky boy. <laughs> now I'll be Captain Hook, and you can be Peter Pan. Look, Skull, there is no way I am going anywhere in little green tights. Ah. No, no, no way. There is no way that I'm going to be the back end. I'll be young Elvis, and you'll be old Elvis. Uh-huh. Oh no! Uh oh! My back! Remember when we dressed up like the Power Rangers to try and get girls? <laughs> well, look who we have here. Skullster, this could very well be our lucky day. <laughs> I can't believe it, they really fell for it. <laughs> yeah, and in a minute, they're gonna fall for us. <laughs> <laughs> Power Rangers around here. Maybe we should go. Did somebody mention the Power Rangers? You're the Power Rangers. In living spandex. Uh, wait a minute. Where are the other Power Rangers? They're all, they're all polishing their zord. Just bought a giant huge. Uh-huh. Come on, let's get out of here. No, wait! Don't you want to see us, uh, you know, riding our swords? Yeah! We really are the Power Rangers! Did someone huh? mention Power Rangers? And then... I think... I think... time we tried to pass ourselves off as karate experts. <laughs> You're not the only bug foo expert in town anymore. My partner and I are the newest and only masters of the mystical cockroach kung fu. Cockroach kung fu. Fifty dollars an hour. Learn from the master. Take home a sparring partner. 20 bucks. You know, we need a little publicity. Huh? Gather around, everyone. Come on, gather around. And see just how powerful cockroach kung fu is. Yeah! <laughs> Secret Roach Rendezvous. Cockroach Power! Because no one can hear us down here, Skullovich. Besides, we don't want to use up all the oxygen in the cave with useless shouting. 
Anyway, I'm working on a plan to get us out of here. Oh, great. Another one of your plans. What's wrong with my plans? Well, they always backfire. Usually on me. Name one time one of my plans has backfired. Okay. How about the time that we tried to be firemen? Hulk and Skull, you're late. That's future firefighter Hulk. And future firefighter Skull. Take your seats. Aisha's in the middle of a presentation. And I'm sure it was a fascinating one. But we've got a presentation of our own. Move over for the professionals. That's okay, Miss Appleby. This should be interesting. Well, as official members of the Angel Grove Wannabe Firefighters Club, we've prepared a special slide presentation to illustrate the dangers of my father operating a barbecue. Yeah! So pay attention! These slides represent a famous event, the 1993 Boltmeyer Family Barbecue, known across the country to firefighters as... The Big One. You really should use another plug. Hey, I know what I am doing, okay? Uh, guys, that looks really dangerous. Bulk, I'm still not sure I want to be a fireman. I think my calling is in politics. <laughs> you nitwit. All right, I'm gonna explain this whole thing to you one more time. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Where there's fire, there's trouble. Where there's trouble, there's the Power Rangers. You get it? I'm sure I will someday. You smell something? Oh, it's not my fault we have burritos in the cafeteria. No, I mean fire. Ah, oh, just our luck. You know, Bulk, fire is kind of scary. So what if we just yell fire, and then maybe the Power Ranger will show up and save us, so we won't have to be near a real fire? Don't be such a wimp. Fire doesn't scare me. And besides, the Power Rangers are too smart for that. Look, you bonehead, I just told you that the Rangers are too smart to fall for that. Wait a minute. I smell smoke. Let's not forget your plan to unmask the Power Rangers on TV. Okay, don't powder me up. I don't want to glow when I'm on camera. Okay, look up. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Get your top there. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Might ought to do it. Okay, Butterbrain, listen up. When I tell you, let the third rope loose. That will in turn release sandbag number three, which will then drop onto the Rangers. Then we jump out on stage and pull off their helmets. You had it, daddy -o. Rangers, we'll come back to the issue of education in just a minute. I know there are a lot of viewers out there who are eager for a little more Power Ranger action. Well, isn't that my Don't. Are you sorry? Okay, Bulky, they're all seated. Pull it! Gotta be an easier way. Sorry, Harvey. Duty calls. But remember, kids, don't be a fool. Stay in school! Who are you?
you guys. I don't want to know. But we're friends of the Power Rangers. Then how about the big sneeze? Flowers? Oh, gross. And who could forget the volcano incident? And then there was the cement. Bring it down here. There's some really good Power Ranger footprints. Coming up. I don't have all day. You made your point, but you got to admit, one of my plans has worked out great so far. Yeah, which one? <laughs> my plan to join the police academy. Oh, yeah, that worked out great. I'll never forget that first day. Here it is. Here it is. Here we go. Come on, Skull. Duty calls. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can you tell us where the registration office is? You boys looking to enroll in the junior police patrol? Y yeah, you're looking at two of Angel Grove's finest future detectives. We want to wear uniforms so we can impress the girls. <laughs> you better have a better reason than that. That wasn't meant to sound the way it sounded. We want to protect the girls. That's better. Straight ahead, you can't miss it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Jeez, bulky people sure do like to run around here. Think you are going, dweeb boy. All right. Remember, people, to be invited to be part of Angel Grove's Junior Police Patrol, you must be in tip-top physical condition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the physical type. I'm no muscle and proud of it. That's me. <laughs> you will do it! And you will like it! Come on! Bubonky! Bubonky! I hate it! I do it all for my My name is Lieutenant Stone, and I've been assigned to, well, as your tour guide. Now it's time for the real fun. Oh, good. Hey, I like fun. This shouldn't be so bad. <laughs> then follow me, boys.
to change your heart. Ugh. Ugh, this is sick. We're just gonna make you boys look a little more beautiful. <laughs> Take a little off the sides, will you? Nice chair. Join the Boy Scouts. Quiet dog boy or he's going to hear us. I can be your best friend, boys. Or I can be your worst nightmare. The decision's up to you. But in the meantime, I suggest that you move it. Move it, move it, move it. Let's go. Double time. All right, so it was hard work. But the stuff we get to do now sure is important. Scott, did you hear him? Did you see him? Yeah. Thanks. Nice guy. I always wanted to be a gymnast, though I hated being upside down. Would you put a sock in it? Look at that guy. 5'11", heavy accent, gray hair. Anyone interesting fit that description? The President of the United States? Besides him. Not oh, forget it. That international spy they've been looking for. Oh, yeah. Kimberly's coach could be him. If we can bring this guy in, Lieutenant Stone will have to recognize us for the crime-solving geniuses that we are. <laughs> I'll never understand why I let you two drag me into these things time and time again. I ought to have my head examined. You won't be sorry, Lieutenant. 
The fate of this great nation of ours rests upon what we are about to show you. All right. Let's have a look at this world-class spy thing. He's right over there, sir. What floor are we on? Six. Why? What floor is the laundry room on? Probably the, uh... Basement! Ah! Ah! <laughs> so it hasn't been a picnic. But at least we haven't sat around the juice bar all day doing nothing like Tommy and his geek friends. <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. We got something they ain't got. What? Us. You and me. <laughs> We're two sides of the same shoe. What? You know what I mean. Ah. If I had to do it all over again, I'd still go through all the pain and suffering it takes to be your friend, man. Thanks, man. I can't tell you how much it means to me to hear you say that. Heck of a football game last week, wasn't it? Yeah, it was tough and gritty. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, why don't we, uh, try calling for help now, huh? Look, I keep telling you, calling for help will not do any good. If you want to call for help, Call for help. Be my guest. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> oh, somebody get us out of here! Good work. We broke through. Just pull those rocks out of the way. That's it. Okay, I'm going in. All right, everyone, remain calm. Help has arrived. You two? What are you two doing in here? You're supposed to be evacuating Sector D, not... Sitting around having a picnic. Uh, uh, see, Lieutenant, uh, Bulky and I were just walking through the park minding our own business when all of a sudden Bulky decided he needed some hot... Uh, some hot investigation of that big monster's M.I. I mean, you mean M.O., don't you? Well, it was Mosum. Quiet! Do you realize that there have been 20 people working for the last five hours solid to open up this cave just to save you two? You're gonna pay them back. Of course, Lieutenant. Skull and I will personally thank each and every one of them. Uh, not quite. You and your brainless friend are going to head straight over to the old search and rescue barracks and clean it from top to bottom. Oh, well, that's not so bad. With a toothbrush. But, Lieutenant! got exactly 30 seconds to get your stuff together and be at attention outside the cave entrance. Well, move it! 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 We're saved, man! We're saved! Bulkfire Skolovich! Front and center outside the cave now! <laughs> And now, a message from the Power Rangers. It's Hulk! Hi, kids. Where's Skull? Skull went to the movies. Why didn't you go with him? I'm with him all week on Power Rangers. Today I'm hanging with my niece. You're an uncle? Of course he is. Uncle Paul's the best ever. And he's a good friend, too. <laughs> ah, the movie was lame, so I thought I'd uh, pick up some ice cream and join you guys. Thanks, Jason. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I want you to smash him. Yeah, get him, Bulk. You're confusing me with my character on the Power Rangers. The television is full of make-believe guys. In real life, Jason's my best friend. He is? Absolutely. But you better watch out. I can turn into Bulk at any moment. <laughs> I'm an actor. When I play Bulk, I'm just pretending. And I'm an actor also. And when I play Skull, I'm just pretending too. Of course, I am the better actor. No, you're not. <laughs>